Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, I'm going to be going over the Chase MIDI Note feature in Ableton Live 10. Pretty cool feature, very useful. So, say you have a, a like a long MIDI note, it could be like you know a white noise filter sweep or something like this. You can't play it from this area. It just won't. It won't play. You actually have to play it from the beginning and then move it over. Right, so there's a cool feature now. I just turned it off just for the sake of example. Chase MIDI notes. What this means is it can be totally stopped and you can hit play from anywhere. Stop. Stop. What this means is we can, you know, we can do uh, risers and you know work on things like that without having to constantly replay the same thing over and over again uh, from the beginning so yeah that's just a, a really nice feature um, I thought I would test it out and it seems to be working and it works quite well it works with uh, they weren't very clear it's working with serum and like a lot of other uh, VSTs I thought it only worked with uh, Ableton instruments and devices but I wanted to confirm that it worked with third-party VSTs. So that's pretty cool. Hope you guys learn stuff. Take care and have a good one.